everyone, this is Grayshaw17. And Grayshaw151 here. And today, for our Kaiju interview episode, we're bringing you Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. Yes, when a prophecy foretells of a monster that will destroy the world, only an ancient golem and the king of the monsters can hope to stop such a terrifying mechanical monstrosity from, well, destroying the world. Sounds really cool, on paper. Oh, boy. Not so much in execution. This movie does not hold up. It, uh, it, I, I went into this thinking, you know what? This movie is like one of the better Godzilla movies. I'm gonna be excited. It's gonna be great. It was boring. This the second half of this movie, it, like sorry, the like the the middle portion, the second arc, I should say, is so slow and boring. It's and, bad. And, it's not only is it bad, but the whole contrivance of the prophecy. I, I'm not a fan of prophecy stories, yeah. but this one does not do it well. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of characters yep. that don't get a lot of screen time. They're basically just there for their one note. Yeah. And there's like one standout character, which is like this <sighs> yeah. person shrouded in mystery. But the only thing in of interest is you just don't know who they are. That's the only thing of interest. It's like uh, for it's like he never gets a proper introduction, so you're just always curious what is he supposed to do. Yeah. The monster action is good. Yes, it is. Angelus fighting Godzilla. I'm sorry. Angelus fighting Mecha Godzilla or Godzilla in disguise is yes. interesting. Yes. Then you have Godzilla versus Godzilla. It's interesting. And then you have God, uh, Mecha Godzilla versus King Caesar, which is not which interesting. Which highlights a problem with this movie. And then you have the final fight with King Caesar, Godzilla, and Mecha Godzilla fighting. The problem is, you it's like, oh my god, there are four fights in this. Yes. The problem is, the Pro first two fights happen in probably in the first like 20 minutes of this movie. Yes. And the last two fights happen in the last 20 minutes of this movie. So, which brings up a 40 minute period of this movie with no Mecha Godzilla, no monsters, nothing. It is just humans sitting around talking or going on cruise ships to get places. It's like, oh my god. And it gets even stupider when you realize, like, certain people or certain things found are actually not far away from each other at all. It's... It, it, it's very convoluted, especially... Yeah. There's an instance where an item is of very va vast importance. Yep. There's someone that takes the item. They then risk their lives to get it back, only then for the next scene to showcase that it was a forgery. Yeah. Why risk your life for the forgery? It, 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 it boggles my mind. Like, if someone you, wrote it, the plot point, and then someone quickly did a fix, saying, yeah. well, they need the item after this. Oh, we'll just make sure it's a forgery. Exactly. It's like, there's also moments where it's like, they're screwed. Like, they're held at gunpoint, and it's like, every single character we know is currently either tied up or busy, and then a random character just pops in, like, hi, I'm part of this guy's association. And it's like, what? Where were you the whole time? Like, you had no build-up whatsoever. You're just yeah. like, I'm his partner. It's, it's like, like, it would have been cooler when? if you would have saw them as a duo together or something. Yeah, like, if there would have been a person, like, okay, here's the setup. There's, like, a guy breaking into an office. With a like, mustache. With a mustache, so obviously evil. But then yep. there's a guy with a trench coat and sunglasses. sunglasses. So it's, like... More evil, it's obviously. Like, yeah, of course. And then also you get another shot of him with trench coat and sunglasses smoking with... Uh, an evil look on his face. In a, so, from a distance, from like a telephone From a distance. Booth. So with all that combined, you're like, that's a good guy. That's yeah, a good it, guy playing a bad guy. Yeah, what you should have done also highlight his partner is to have the guy, because he's supposed to be like keeping at a distance and watching. Yeah. Have someone watching him. And it would have been like this, this, like this trail of like, oh, who's watching who? What's the conspiracy? Yeah. Like you needed, you don't showcase us the aliens. Have that be the final, like the or, end. Or that, or you could also show those two with uh, again that single person. Yeah. To make it believe, like again, you could do Terminator Two, where it's like you don't know who's good and who's bad, and you can yes. set it up to where they're both doing different things, like Interpol agent tries to rob the place to grab the statue yep. so you immediately think he does it but every single bad action is the guy with the mustache until again he's incapacitated uh and then yeah. every single other action is like you see this guy on the side it would be cool if you see like this mix back and forth like you don't know who's the good guy who's bad you also would have needed to like just have mechadzel and don't show the aliens just yeah. show mechadzel show him as this force that showed up you don't know why he's there yeah. you don't know who created him and there's all these different factions that maybe he's aligned to any of them maybe he's an earth creation yeah exactly maybe he's this but they 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 go with the he's a space alien from the beginning with like their space titanium and like these other things and you're just like i I okay. feel like you could have probably cut out the aliens a little in the beginning and had the reveal be like, They're who are these people? The, the the guy in charge, Moogle, I think is the guy's name. Which, by the way, some scenes, he's great because it's a moment like, 
oh yeah, we knew you were coming and yes. like had a trap. Other times there's like, literally they escape and they come through the exact same way they came, they came in from the escape and there's no guards, no cameras, yep. no nothing. You saw cameras there, but for some reason they can't see them coming back and they end up killing a few of their men on the way in. It's like, and then he captures them after he's killed more of his, you know, the few soldiers he has left. It's like, they have just a, murder them. What they have a doing? boil room and it's like, these are, people should be dead. They should be like <laughs> oven roasted by now. Yeah, for an aliens, they really don't understand A, how to like yeah. solve a problem very quickly. It's like, we must prolong this issue as long as possible just to cause us the most pain. We Okay, so we should probably clarify. Once Godzilla fights the Mechagodzilla, at yes. that point, we're not saying the characters are necessarily bad. Because again, they have interesting set. They have a. They've at least they've. Someone they are one note characters. To, they have yeah. each have their own one note. We have scientists. We have daughter of scientists. We have okay, fine. brothers. We have like there's. We have shaman people who keep saying opposite stuff. It's weird, but anyway, the, the the problem I have with oh yeah, we have a girl whose only job is to sing and look terrified. That's it. Um, not shaman priest. The priest like priestess. the royal family. Yeah, sorry. But in any case, the problem with this film is once. Godzilla is defeated mm -hmm. and you see that shot with him on the island, which is great. It's a cool shot. It's a cool shot. You immediately cut to about 30 minutes of dull emptiness and boring stuff, which you know they're going to survive. You know no one's in, in peril. Everything's fine. You're just elongating this. It feels like it's dragging out this movie. This movie could easily have been like a half hour special or even like 45 minutes. This feels like, an, again, the, very, the, the themes for these movies very much feel like they could be, and and this goes from like They're most so of the seventies. Yeah, this is a lot of the seventies movies, which is this is because the TV shows yeah were getting popular. So you have crazier and crazier monsters, and like you could have the plots in like that thirty minute interval, kind of like. But for they a TV don't. Show. They forgot how to make an out. It's like they forgot how to make a long movie or a more interesting. Which Terry Mackey works a lot way better in regards which, to like building up the characters and having them all. You know, like that kind of you, stuff. You could say like, okay, this showcased Mechagodzilla. This showcase the beam battle. This showcase. There's a lot of good this moments. This Angelus dying. Breaking the like, jaw. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, it's it's interesting. King, technically, the idea of King Caesar is fascinating, but they fuck it up so much. By we haven't even talked about King Caesar. He's prophesized this entire goddamn movie. His little name is King Caesar, which translates to King Emperor or Emperor King. Yeah. So he's supposed to be this awesome badass, he and he's a golem. But yeah, he is. He, the first thing he does is redirect eye lasers. Cool. But then he just runs away the moment he like faces anything he can't deal with. Like uh, missiles, he hides behind rocks. If he sees Mechazol, he just like power. Like there's a moment where like Mechazol is unleashing his full uh, like barrage, yeah. and he's hiding behind Godzilla. And my note is like, I understand the idea these two are together, but the the camaraderie between the two worked way better with Jet Jaguar and Godzilla because at least Jet Jaguar could fight Megalon by himself. Whereas this monster, other than the one surprise trick, yeah. There was nothing more to it. There, there was nothing not unique, nothing cool, nothing. Like, as soon as Mechagodzilla literally kicks his ass and kicks him into, a, like, a crater, yeah. Godzilla almost shoots him, and he is so defeated, he doesn't even move after being shot. That's why everyone everyone makes fun of Anguirus for being, like, the quote-unquote... Like, you may know, yeah. he's the Krillin of the universe because he always loses. Yeah. But my counterpoint to that is, at least he tries. King Caesar ran away. He literally is the impersonation of the line from Wizard of Oz being a coward and running away. He's and only fighting when Mechagodzilla literally can't fight back. I would rather have Jet Jaguar back fight Mechagodzilla. I would I'd rather have Angelus back fighting Jet Jaguar. You could, you could literally cut, like seriously, you could rewrite this whole goddamn stupid prophecy thing, add an Angelus fighting Mechagodzilla, and yep. this would have been just way better. But no, we need a new monster. But the problem is this new monster sucks worse than Angelus. The, it, it, yeah, it doesn't work the plot. Also, thing that doesn't work the plot, Godzilla gets magnet powers. How he gets it? Why? never explained he yeah. just does and it's like he gets struck by lightning and he's like plans this to fight mechagodzilla oh and he gets magnet power so he can bring mechagodzilla close and then t rip his head off which is a cool moment but it makes no freaking sense it would have been way better to have the nuclear pulse yeah. be the thing being like he just grabs onto mechagodzilla and then his whole body just illuminates and he blasts like it would have been like a, a, a cool build up range. With Especially the, with him getting closer to Mechagodzilla through the fire. Yeah, it reminded me, like, the, again, if anyone's seen the Broly movie, the original one from the 90s, yeah. the shot where Goku is, like, trying to get close to Broly, and he's just being shot again and again and again, and finally he gets close, but at that point he's just so overwhelmed that he a next shot just sends him flying. And that's kind of what I felt like should have happened with Godzilla. He yeah. just gets barrage, barrage, trying to get closer for the nuclear pulse, and then he just gets flung away. My, also, okay, so, again, we're not saying this movie's 
trash. It's not. Like I said, They're good the moments. fights are fantastic. Like, the fights are really good. That's the problem. The human care, it's it's this disparaging thing where the fights are at least so extravagant, at least with Godzilla yeah. and Angle. And, and Angle's King Caesar, at least they try until Godzilla comes back. And King Caesar fights quick and same thing as Angle's. Like, the big thing is Godzilla. Godzilla at least brings the fight. The problem is you have the human characters, which suffice to say sucks. Any, Any case, that is our, for most part, review of Godzilla vs. Mechazel. Fun facts, trivia. You, oh, you yeah. said Baragon. Bar Baragon, I believe Baragon was supposed to be in for Anguirus. Yeah. Um, that might just be a rumor. I'm, I'm going off memory here. But the other thing that was uh, kind of cut and then changed over was... Oh, what was it? What, did, what was the other one? It was Baragon, Anguirus, and then the other one was... Oh, yeah, the Golem. King Caesar, even though he looks like a monster, he's really a Golem. Like, if go to Toho Kingdom, I recommend uh, the monster section. King Caesar, if you click on, there's an ink, uh, there's like a little You can see box. like the inside of him. You can see the inside. And he's like, he, he has the skeletal structure, but it's all rock and stone. Like he, there's golems, there's cogs, things of that nature that like work him from the inside. So he's kind of like this, he it very much is a mythical creature, but you would not know by this movie. It's yeah. very much a failure of execution of having a mythical creature fight, which would be cool. Having a mythical Golem fighting a uh, an advanced alien, you know, yeah. monster like it mechanical just, monstrosity. Yeah. So failure though. Um, so we're probably gonna put this. I would say it's below even Mega Gears because at least Mega Gears might be boring, but at least I w I w okay. Here's the thing. Yeah, it does stuff to. And again, we uh, if we're labeling these movies. Yes. Mega Gears doesn't really ha does Mega Gears do anything to define the Godzilla genre. I mean, it had a soundtrack that came back. That's pretty but, much no, it. But again, like, again, but it's way better and more memorable than other stuff. Did Godzilla's Revenge do anything that's incredibly memorable in a it, positive light? It is me It is a memorable movie for the stock footage, that's for sure. I, I will. I will. It set the stage I for will not. I, as much as I don't like this film, the, the fights are way better than Revenge. And they, the human I would watch Revenge. The human, the human character is serviceable enough to where I will not... I will not... I, I, I look I agree this movie's bad and it's not as good as what other people say but don't even start by putting this movie a bull over revenge I will I will fight you on that it doesn't go above I, I, I draw my line at King it doesn't I, go yeah, above King Kong that's fine that's where exactly I put it because here's the thing King Kong has at least more stuff in my opinion that has more memorable better it, characters funnier it, characters just the first time it fights you have actually the first time Godzilla fights stuff you have better, some better characters, and at Are least the better. Are you again? He fought in Guiris. Or, okay, uh, in color. There we go. Yeah. The act, okay. And actually stood actually a decent fight. In like, regards, okay, let's just go, let's just sell this for quality in regards to, we will agree that King Kong vs. Godzilla is a far better film than Godzilla vs. Godzilla. Let's just, we'll just say it's above Revenge. Revenge is a better, hum, better characters, but this one had better I fights. still don't get why you love that film so much. It's I don't love weird. it. I just, I just believe it is the better crafted film. Um, this so this film we'll has way the, better fights. So we'll put this at number nine. So we'll put this as King Kong vs. Godzilla, then Godzilla vs. My Godzilla, then Godzilla's Revenge. So there are some people that are probably gonna be angry that we do not like, but it's guys. As soon as Godzilla fights the Mecha Godzilla the first time, and then it's until cool. that fight, it's, but that 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 chunk, it is boring. It is meandering. There's not much. There's like there's. Like it's not even it's not even like a good like funny quality where you can just like haha. -ha. It's just it takes itself too serious and it's boring. boring. Yeah. yeah. So King Kong vs Godzilla is at least enjoyably dumb, and the same thing I could say with Terror Mecha Godzilla, where there's some darker moments and some lighter okay, moments. Okay, okay, okay. Wrap it up. Wrap but it up. yeah, but in any capacity, that's our review of it. Um, now what's next up? Next one we have a one that probably a lot of people have been waiting for. It is Godzilla 2014, the American remake. Wait, what? It's that's the next one. Yes. I thought you said it was the original. No, I said it's the American 2014 one. I, oh. I said it was Godzilla, aka. I know there, there's so many good movies just labeled Godzilla. I would understand why you were confused. Oh. But we're seeing 2014. Uh, the well, the Godzilla movie that came out in 2014. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, that'll be coming next week, and I am super stoked for that. I. One. I It'll be very interesting to see where that thing places on this list. I am very curious to see. I think... Uh, you want to go my bet right now? I'm going to say this right now. I think it's going to be number one. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Well, we shall see. Um, but in any case, guys, it's going to be it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy some bloopers, hopefully, if there's no technical issues. But otherwise, it's been Grayshon 17. And Grayshon 151. And we'll see you next time. Later, guys. We went from, like... Kind of like, oh my god, all right, get ready, boys, something's going on, and Shit. now we're in like a tourist attraction. This might be only, this might be in Japanese.
just you whoa. Know. She actually does this for all the tourists. Oh, okay. This is part of the attraction. Yes. Okay, cool. So wait, does that mean he runs down every single time? Every single time. How is he not dead? The cane is actually fake. Oh, okay. Guys, now, I'm not sure who is evil, but it's either the guy with the mustache or the guy in the trench coat and sunglasses. God. It's one of the two. God. No, stop. Um, but no, I also want to make note, how does he know about space titanium? What is the big, dis what is so different about space titanium? Is it stronger? It's titanium. Uh-huh. And it has one additional property. Uh-huh. Space. But what, what does that mean? What, what, what does space listen, mean? Listen, listen. Does it mean it's more listen, radioactive? Listen, Go talk to Claire. She'll tell you the identifying properties of what material makes space titanium, all right? There's a Why is he put? Look at his hands. His hands are going behind his face. He's not even trying to stop him. Yeah, fair point. You gonna pop his eyes or something? What are you doing? What are you doing? What is this? What is this? Actually, you know what? If I put pressure right there, maybe... No, that's not... That's stupid. That's so freaking stupid. Cuts has appeared like 20 times. Yeah, I think okay, maybe not that many. Where, where was he in 1954? 1954, and it raises again. I, you know what? This actually works better like with... I, like you I said, I feel, like, I feel like every single Godzilla movie, he runs to the statue and says, Only King Caesar can defeat King Ghidorah. Only King Caesar can defeat Ebra. Only King Caesar can defeat Minya. No, Godzilla, we did this to the enemy before. Stop kicking my ass, Godzilla. There he is in the distance. You got about maybe an hour before he finally walks over here instead of, I don't know, flying. So wait, their ancient super secret lair was literally a, like a couple miles from that? Yep. You, why didn't... Stop roaring, keep walking. You literally, any time, you could have sent your space aliens to just blow up the facility. You could have sent Mechagodzilla before to just blow up the, the entire place so King Caesar can't do it. Because they said, at the top of the fucking house... He's like, um, um I, I can't. So. I can't reflect that. Can we not? No. Remember, this is the God King, everybody. He's hiding behind a rock. <laughs> now he's just like, F you all. <laughs> King Caesar's like, look, Help he's me! A, this guy's based, this guy has to be based off the lion from the Wizard of Oz. He is literally hiding behind Godzilla. This, at least Angle stood there and took it. Come on. Yeah. Fight. No, you want okay, don't worry. He can now sleep in peace. For the audience has hated him, and he will never come back to the big screen. Oh my god, this... This is the end. Thank the lord, because... This turned out a lot worse than I ever... Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> King Caesar, uh, don't well. return. <laughs> Hello everyone, and before I go, I have a special shout out for Patreon supporters Ace, Joey, Mezro, Junior Chicklist, Just Thomas Plays, Matthew Leppin, Ollie, Only Play Apples, Rifle, Sam Smith, Sarge McPain, Streaking Wookie, White Hot D, Aaron Yee, Jordan Savat, Leo Lu, Michael Pearson, Nathan Angus, Rari Spawn, and Tim. Thank you guys so much for your awesome support. You all rock. This has been Grayshaw17. I'll see you all next time.